guys, welcome back to another video and a beautiful day in Pennsylvania at that. That's you! My allergies are in full force and so is Sarge's present. Spent some of the morning here wrapping up some of the finer details on things. We've got the steps installed, rock lights installed in the back, fender whales on fender whales. Whale. It is a whale. It's quite a whale at that. Big old girl. Got our rock lights up and installed. Fender liners back in under that freaking badass F450 fender flare. Ugh, the dualies on these things. Just impeccable. We've got our decal up and installed. I ended up actually going with black rather than green. We've got the green on the side. I wanted to go black on the back. The green would have just stood out too much. I wanted to go with that black ghosted look. All the chrome has been deleted on the side step, so everything's ready to rock and roll there. And our steering wheel has been straightened. I adjusted the track bar a little bit this morning to get that wheel nice and symmetrical with the wheels and tires ready to rock and roll. Sounds like it's actually going into a regen right now. Only got 1,700 miles on this truck, and I don't think it's actually gotten to regen yet. Elevated idle tells me that it's going into regen. I'm not going to want to disrupt this because you definitely want to make sure that you let your truck regen, preferably driving it to really increase that temperature in the DPF so it burns off anything that is in that filter. We got this thing with the daytime running lights on right now and it's just looking unbelievable. I'm so happy with how Sarge turned out guys. This thing is so in charge. <laughs> okay guys, so I just got the list back from Compliance Sweepstakes Services. How this works if you're new to the 17 giveaways that we've done in the past, not excluding additional prizes before we started doing truck giveaways, is I work with a third party legal administration that proctors, bonds, and ensures our sweepstakes. What that means is they make sure that everything is legit. Not only do they do those things for our sweepstakes, but they also are the ones that are responsible for drawing the prize winners. As you guys know, for Dream Diesel Giveaway 17, we had, uh, well, eight prizes. That didn't work out well. <laughs> one of them was this 500 EXCF. The other one is Lucifer right out there with $30,000. And then there were six consoles, three PlayStation 5s and three Xbox Series Xs. And I've got our winners right here. All that you need to do to be eligible to win the prize is qualify in the US of being 18 years of age and being a citizen of the United States. In Canada, 19 years of age and being a resident of Canada. So our tentative winner is, ba -ba -da -da. this is exciting boys, I love this moment. Keith Lepininski of Woodbury, Minnesota. Minnesota, eh? And then our tentative winner for the KTM 500 EXCF is Philip Meyer of Polk, Ohio. We're gonna go ahead and call Keith right now for the first time ever. He has no idea that we're calling. Kind of a good thing to kill time as the uh, F450's regening outside right now. Automatic voicemail. Hmm, right to voicemail. Keith, you're playing hard to get, man. All right, being that he's going straight to voicemail, I said, Keith, this is Jack with Enthusiast. Call me back ASAP, as you guys can see. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try and call Philip Meyer from Polk, Ohio. Hello. Hey, good morning, is this Philip? Yes, it is. Good morning, Philip. This is Jack with Enthusiast. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, I hope you're doing great, because I have some pretty good news, and it's that you are the tentative winner as long as you confirm some details for me after the fact of our uh, KTM 500 EXCF from Dream Diesel giveaway number 17. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Good morning to you too, my friend. Uh, this is uh, unexpected. Well, you know what? I kind of like to be unexpected. It really helps to drive home the surprise. So you have been drawn by Compliance Sweepstakes Services. They conducted the drawing for Dream Diesel giveaway 17. It's that brand new spanking new 2021 KTM. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. Well, good. If you were, then I'd be questioning your sources. <laughs> so congratulations, man. I'm actually standing in my shop right here with it next to me. And believe me when I tell you, it's a badass bike, man. All right, have you ever ridden a motorcycle before or anything like that? Uh, I've done dirt bikes. That's as far as it's going. Oh, geez. Well, make sure that you um, don't bring your dirt bike experience out onto the road because believe me, this thing is like a street legal dirt bike. And, and I feel like I almost got my license suspended, so I'd hate to see that happen to you. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sounds great, man. I'm excited. All right, brother. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. Thank you again for your support. And I can't wait to get this bike over out in Ohio. All right, so no response from Keith right now. His phone is off. Hopefully, we can get in touch with him a little later. Always remember... Take your damn shoes off. <laughs> God, it feels like it's been forever since we've been able to feature the C7Z06 on the channel. And actually, uh, well, today is a special day for the C7Z. We're actually bringing it down to Peach Bottom Auto Body to get some stuff done on it. It's a pretty big deal because I've been waiting and procrastinating to put this off just for nice weather. But one does not dare take the C7Z06 outside on a beautiful day like it is without this mod. It's 
always a good day when the Corvette comes out. Always a good day. Okay, okay, I know I talk about this all the time, but this is the coolest thing ever, aside from, aside from this and the competition seats and the carbon fiber dash and the LT4 supercharger motor and, and the additional 200 wheel horsepower it makes and, and the cuts, near, yeah, and all these things. The driving, driving mode. Engine sound management, track. Did you hear that difference? Stealth. You guys got a good spot there? Ready, listen. These are the valves closed, remember that. 800 horsepower to the wheels. Being that all 300,000 of you can't be there with me right now, I'm gonna have to put you here with me right now. Listen to this. <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Oh my God, guys, we're getting a return call from Keith right now. Let's answer, let's answer, let's answer. Hello, Jack speaking. Hey, this is Keith. Hey, Keith, this is Jack with Enthusiast. How are you today? Good. I'm having a pretty good day right now. It's a beautiful day in Pennsylvania. Uh, driving driving my C706, top off. Very good day, very good day. But I don't know if I'm gonna be having as good of a day as you're about to be having, being that you were drawn as the winner of Dream Diesel giveaway number 17, the L5P and $30,000 cash. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. This is, not, this is not a joke. I'm the owner of Enthusiast, and I'm calling you on behalf of the sweepstakes agency. They just conducted their drawing and told me that I had the honor to call you first. Holy Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those beautiful 73 days in Minnesota here too. Or er, Wisconsin, Minnesota, right on the border. Holy buckets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's happening. This is actually happening right now. I mean, I've been, I've been entering since, I think, just before Super Duty Sam. Oh my God, dude, that is amazing. Which I love that truck, and pretty much have entered every single time since then. Keith, thank you so much for your fellowship, your loyalty, and your support. I'm extremely grateful. Holy buckets. That, that just made my year. I've had a pretty rough year, so. Can you hear me now? Oh no, my service is so bad. Hello. That, that is a predictable dead zone. Sorry, I lost you. <laughs> I have one of them too on the way home. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I was just gonna say like, every time I'm on one of these phone calls, I don't even know what to say. Like, it's just such an honor, brother. It's such an honor. I'm so grateful to be able to do this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm a pretty loyal follower. Your video is one of the first ones I make sure I watch all the time. And... So I just have to ask you two quick questions to ensure your eligibility. Question number one, are you over the age of 18? got the service oh yeah well over 18 okay me too brother and we're still cooking <laughs> and number two is uh you're a citizen of the united states absolutely okay it's that simple you sign the paperwork and uh that solidifies that you confirm the acceptance of our 2018 stealth 67 equipped l5p denali duramax built trans and all and thirty thousand dollars okay yeah it's gonna look amazing next to my deep cherry red mega cap i have a 2012 mega cap are you serious? Is it a, is it a, a, a gas or a it's diesel? A Cummins. It's All right. 3500 single wheel. Uh, it's a Longhorn Laramie. So yeah, it's got a couple of goodies. Simple, tastes easy goodies underneath just for efficiency and. Like a true enthusiast, man. That is amazing. Yeah. I can't even put it into words. Every single time I get to make one of these phone calls, man, I get so excited. Like, you have no idea. I should probably just call him down. <laughs> I, I just, I don't even care. Like, it's the, it's the greatest feeling in the world making, making this kind of a phone call uh, because it's completely unexpected. Heck yeah, man. Congratulations, dude. Thank you very much. I can't wait to meet you in person and shake your hand. Thank you. Me too. Cheers, brother. We'll be in touch. Yep. Bye. All right. See you. Bye. Boys. <laughs> Oh my God, dude. Is that dude right there in that Corolla is smiling oh so hard at the sound of the Corvette doing its nice little undertone verbal every time I let off the accelerator. Then I step into the accelerator and he just smiles. I guess what I want to get at here is it's not about what you drive right now, 
It's about what you're passionate about right now. That's gonna dictate your future. Sorry, didn't mean to get all freaking motivational on you guys, but I just wanna remind you that you're the one that controls your future, and your actions today dictate your tomorrow. Ah, oh boys, here it is. Sean's truck is so clean! And then wait, watch this. It's quiet. It's all stock. You wouldn't even know. Look at Sean. He's blown away by this. <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome back to Peach Bottom Auto Body. We got the main man, Sean, the legendary man that he is right there. And we've got the finishing touches for Sarge. He finished up this platinum badge. They changed the platinum badge for the 2020s. They used to just say platinum, now they say platinum super duty. So we painted it metallic black to match, and then we went as far as adding the platinum and Super Duty in the wrap color. Same thing with the F450 badges. F450, you can see color match to the truck. And then we've got the bezel on the outside, paint to match black. And then of course, platinum on the top to match with the back. It's all in the details, my friends. The devil is in the details. The little things go a very long way. And I've been saying that since freaking day one. And speaking of little things, dude, dude. you got the vet. I am so excited. We're dropping the Corvette off to Sean today. Actually, one of Sam King's boys, Jordan, is down to give me a ride back. Jake, a lot of you guys were wondering where Jake was. He's actually on a small Small little vacation. He's up somewhere in the Catskills of New York. I don't know. He's lost. He's being a the wilderness man that he is, Grizzly Adams. I'm sure he's fine. I haven't gotten a text from him. If I don't hear from him in a few <laughs> weeks, we'll send. News. Yeah, right. Exactly. So what we've got here is some parts for the Corvette. ACS Composite makes really nice carbon black body pieces for these cars. You can get diffusers, winglets, spoilers, side skirts. We did the front canards off the Grand Sport. You can do front lips. Blah 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 blah. You guys get the point. And what we have here is actually rear canard winglets. So what these will do is give us a nice OEM plus look in the rear. We're going to maintain the factory diffuser, that thing right there, except we're going to add two canards on the right and two canards on the left. It was kind of consequential because Sean, right after I had yes, bought them, asked me if I had any experience I because I have a C706. So, there was a guy that brought you a yep. Grand Sport and he put the same ones on his car. Exactly the same. That's why. And I said to you, you know how to put these on just to kind of make sure. And then it was super easy. It was amazing timing. Oh, it was. Yeah. It couldn't work like, dude, I'm about to order these for mine. It was perfect. So here we are. Finally, we got the Corvette down to Sean. Sean actually did some work on my previous Corvette, too. RIP, the C606. I think you drove that down one time. I uh, or did you? I dude, don't know, or did you just it feels like it was so long ago, but it, it wasn't was. even that long ago. That was back when we first met. That was the first thing that we ever did for you. Isn't that crazy? That, that, that must have that gained our... Oh, how we business. have grown together. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Tinted the vet taillights. Yep. Vet lights made the LED uh, Oracle style taillights. Vet lights makes a really nice replacement for the factory taillight. It's actually an LED circle, but they were a little bit too red. I bought them red thinking it would look good, but on the orange, it was just too classy. Yeah. So this man right here ended up doing what he does best, the taillights, and actually tinting them out, just yep. like he did on Sarge. Yeah. Almost with the exact same hue as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. It's like a nice balance. It is, yes, because it's still very visible, but just takes away that flamboyant red. Yeah, know. it just like clashes against yeah. the colors, like on Sarge, red would just been no bueno. I know. No bueno. And then on that, we also did your your spoiler. And you did the spoiler. We got rid of that tiny one. Yep. No, we went to the, oh, wait, yeah, that, you, that was just the a... taillight. It was just the taillight. On those okay. cars, it's just the taillight on the back. Okay. The tail light see how this one's kind of embossed here over the wing oh, it just yeah. bubbles up but yeah we went with that full kind of duck bill yeah, really spoiler and it matched like perfect it was yeah, just spot that. on <laughs> i had you bring me a gas cap so i could make it match that's what yep, I, remember. I remember that yeah crazy and now speaking of our same friends from vet lights we haven't mentioned them on the vlog for a while but we still stay in touch they are going to be adding their touch to the c7z06 as well we've got some really nice boxing and products within these boxes right here, guys, are replacement side markers for the factory side markers that are just ever so ugly. There's truthfully not many things on the C7Z06 that I don't agree with, but these things are just one of those things that I definitely disagreed with. You can see right here, we're gonna have a full LED paint match strip that's gonna go in place of the factory red reflector that has like the most awkward LED placement ever. There's just one <laughs> little LED right there. Now we're gonna have a full LED bar. It's gonna be way brighter and it's gonna be way more aesthetically pleasing. Also, I just added my favorite mod to the C7Z06. 
and that is the new license plate. Guys, it took nine months for this thing to come in, but I think it was well worth the wait. Check it out, boys. I'm so proud of this. H-U-S-L. Grind hard, stay humble always, but you need to hustle, my friends. I was looking at vanity plates for this thing. I had a few really creative ones in mind. I typed in H-U-S-L-E, taken. I typed in H-U-S-T-L, taken. I typed in H-U-S-L, which is the best combo ever because it's short and only takes up four out of the seven placements available and it was available. So I nabbed it and it fits this car like a freaking love. A Corvette just needs a vanity plate. It's no questions asked. I never really wanted to admit that I really didn't like these things about my C7 Z06. I didn't want to sound like I was complaining, but now that we're here and we're changing them, finally I can be honest with you guys. I wasn't lying. I just never mentioned anything. Big shout out to Jordan for helping me out with the ride. He's got his little Canyon Duramax. Make diesels greater than enthusiast. Repping, my friends. Repping. So we're down a truck now. Down a truck. I look at me. I'm so programmed to just talk about trucks all the time. We're down a car now, meaning that I just got some garage space back. Speaking of garage space, you guys notice anything different? Those that are very observant out there. I know there's a lot of you because you guys are all about those little details. Yep, my garage door is black now. So are my shutters. So is the vent coming off my attic. Decided to change up the color scheme a little bit in preparation for what will be the... Uh, uh, pole building that we're putting up to get all this stuff that sits outside inside it's going to be a very nice complementary relationship between pole building and house so i think it changed things up a little bit too made the house look real nice too i definitely like the whole black and tan scheme that we got going on Who's calling me at a time like this? We're going over important detail. They got the ignore button. So yes, we have everything home now. I gotta get back down to the shop and get this stuff installed, but that's gonna be for another video. Believe me when I tell you, it is just gonna set off the back of that truck so well. That big platinum badge is a massive characteristic of the back of those platinums. I've always loved when the platinum badges are blacked out. I especially love when the platinum badge is blacked out with gloss military green letters. One of one, my friends. Now, we do have six tentative winners for the Xboxes and Playstations. We just have not confirmed those winners yet they will be listed up on the website and i'll probably mention them in the next video we're just waiting to hear back from a few of them so i just want to say thank you guys again sincerely i'm really sorry that you did not win but your opportunity could be next just as keith said he entered every single giveaway since dream diesel giveaway number four now he's going home with lucifer and our biggest cash prize ever thirty thousand dollars and dream diesel giveaway number 18 is as a matter of fact launching at the end of the month and it's gonna be big believe me when i tell you that guys you know what to do subscribe like and comment and i'll see y'all in in the next upload. This is not cool, babe. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mrs. Dirty Max, and it's been a minute since I have pranked Jack or done anything silly, and 